Hi, sixth graders. Today we're going to talk through naming and graphing inequalities. So go ahead and get that notebook open to a fresh page and press, press play when you're ready to continue. So I'm not going to give you quite 30 seconds, but how many numbers can you think of that are greater than three? How many numbers can you think of that are greater than three? How many did you come up with? Probably a lot. There are a lot of numbers greater than three. And so when we think about how many solutions does an inequality have, any number that's greater than three, that's an example of an inequality, we have infinite solutions to an inequality since our numbers go on to infinity. To infinity and beyond, as Buzz Lightyear says. So let's think about this. Let's name two possible solutions that work in this inequality. G is greater than 8. Can you think of two numbers that would be greater than 8? There are so many possibilities. You could say 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 1, 10. You could even say infinity if you wanted, or a really large number like 2,000. Any number that's greater than 8 would work in replace of G. What about this inequality? R is less than or equal to 5. Well, it could be 5, or it could be anything below 5, including 0 or any negative numbers. C is less than 0. What, what values could you plug in for C? Your only options here are negative numbers but you could plug in any negative number you can think of. What about 11 is greater than or equal to K? 11 needs to be greater than K. I like to, when the um, inequality is flipped like this, notice on all of our first three examples, the variable was on the left side and now our variable's on the right side. When it's flipped like this, I like to pay attention to that letter and which way the symbol is facing towards that letter. So I see the closed part towards the letter, which means my letter needs to be less than this number since that closed piece is facing the, the, the variable there. So if K is going to need to be less than 11, or equal to, I could do 11, I could do 10, I could do 0, negative 5, anything that's less than, equal to or less than 11. My second skill is graphing inequalities. Graphing inequalities is a very important skill, so please make sure you're writing down these steps with me and pausing the video if you need more time. Here's your steps for graphing an inequality on a number line. Step one is to make a number line with at least three numbers. The center number is the number in the inequality. Step two is to make a dot on the value. We'll have two different types of dots. An open dot is when you have a greater than or less than sign without the or equal to. These types of dots are open because the value that you have the dot above is not included as one of the possible answers. We use a closed dot if we have the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. This is because the value could be included as a possible answer to the solution, so we want to shade it in to show that that could be an answer to our solution. Once we have our number line, with our dot, then we shade the number line to show all possible solutions for that inequality. Let's look at this example. Pause if you need more time on those steps before we get to the example. Press play when you're ready to see this. Let's look at A is greater than 6. I'm going to make a number line with the center number being the number in our equality, in our inequality, 6. And then I go one down and one up on either side. So five, six, seven. That's step one. Step two, we need to make a dot. We have a greater than symbol. So we're going to use an open dot over the six. Make sure your dot is large enough that we can tell if it's open or closed. Next, we shade. Let's think about what our inequality is saying. The inequality says A is greater than 6. 
So which way would we shade for values that are greater than six? We would shade up towards seven and it's a number line. So it's saying everything seven and beyond would work to place in for A. Let's practice graphing. Let's practice with X is less than nine. We're going to make our number line with three tick marks. Our center number is the number on the inequality, nine. I go one down and one up. So my number line is made up of eight, nine, 10. Remember, we use an open dot if there is not an or equal to. So if it's just a less than or greater than, which is what we have here, we have a less than. So I'm going to draw an open dot over the nine and then we need to shade. Our inequality says x is less than nine. So which way should I shade for values that are less than nine? Towards the eight. Those are values that are less than nine. Let's try this one. n is greater than or equal to four. I'm going to make my number line with three tick marks four being my center number, one down and one up on either side. I'm going to put a dot above four and this time it's a greater than or equal to, so I'm going to shade that dot in because four could be a possible solution for n. And then I'm gonna look for which way I shade. N is greater than or equal to four. So I wanna to shade towards values that are greater than four, which would be towards five and up. Notice I'm making the shading really obvious. You can see which way I'm shading. Sometimes that means kind of doing a squiggly line. You wanna make sure it's very clear which way you've shaded. Let's move into the negatives here. So we have K is less than or equal to negative two. Remember on a negative number line, your numbers are kind of moving further into the negatives. The number starts to look like a larger positive number. So when we think about setting up a negative number line, it's almost backwards of a positive number line. So down here, one smaller than negative two would be negative three, and one larger than negative two would be negative one. We have a closed in dot because we have an or equal to under our less than sign. And we want to shade for values that are less than or equal to negative two. So values that are less than would go further into the negative. So we're going to shade towards the left there. One more, why don't you pause and try this one on your own. Press play when you're ready to see the answer for y is greater than 13. All right, you guys, you should have had a number line with 12. 13 and 14. You should have had an open dot because it was a greater than symbol without the or equal to. And then y is greater, so we shade up towards 14 and values that are greater than 14. That's all I have for you today on graphing inequalities. Check in with your teacher if you have any questions.